Hi friends, hope all are doing great. Today's our topic is creating form in Visual Basics. Let us start. Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0. Select Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0. Then select Standard EXC. Click on Open button. A new project is created. We can resize this form. Okay, this is the Toolbox. This is a standard toolbar. This is the menu bar. This is the title bar, which contains title of the project. This is the property window. If by mistake we close this toolbox or property window, how to get them back? Just go to standard toolbar here. Toolbox option is available. Just click on it. If you want to get the property window, just click on this property window icon. We'll get the property window here. Next, we'll add one label. This is the label. To rename the label, just go to the properties window. Here, caption option is available. Here, just rename it as codes registration form. Okay. If you want, you can resize it. You can increase or decrease the size of the label. Want to make it bold? Just select it. Go to font. Select bold. If you want to increase the size, you can specify the size here. Then select OK. Want to apply the background color, select the background color option here. Any color you can apply according to your wish. You want to apply the background color to the form, you can do so. Okay, the next, next add one more label. Go to caption, then rename it as username. Add one text box here. Text box inside text box, text one is appear. To remove that, just go to the properties of text box one. Just here, text for option text, remove this text one. So the text box will be empty. Then select label again, resize the label, go to caption. Rename this label as password, then add text box, so go to the properties of the text box here, remove this text to, then add button, add two buttons.
So this button caption is login. This button caption is cancel. Can change the label background color. Okay. Whichever color you want, you can select from here. Then double click on login button. Here you can write the code. Okay. If if text one dot text if text one dot text equals to student. If text one dot text equal to student and text two dot text equals to password, then go to form two. On two dot show. Then go to form two dot show. Else, message box. Else, message box. Incorrect username or password. Incorrect username or password. Okay. Then end if. And if this is the code for button one, login button. If you want to add the code for button two, just double click on button two, add the code here. Okay, and just select end here. Then save the changes here. Save button is there. Save the changes. If you want to create a folder, you can create a folder and save the changes. Select here new. Or you can select from the existing folders. This new folder will select. This save. Save. Okay, then. Run the project. Username is student. Password is password. Click on login button. Before that, add one more form. Form to add form. Open. Okay. If the login is successful, it will redirect us to form two. Then save the changes. Just run the project. This is the button to run to start the project. Student password is password. 
login. If the login is successful, then it will redirect, redirect us to the form two. Okay, how to hide, hide this password? Let us check. See, this is the project explorer window. Click here. Here forms are available. Whichever forms we create, that forms are available. This will show the design, design view. This icon will show the code view. Select form two, design. Form one, design. So this icon will show the code. Just go to form one design. Select this password text box. Open the properties window. Here, password care. Here, select the password care as asterisk symbol. Then save the changes. Run the project again. This is the start project. Start project. This is the stop project. If you want to stop the execution, just click this button. If you want to start, start. Then what is the username here? Student. Then what is the password here? Password. Okay, now here password is not displayed. We select cancel, then the execution will stop. If we start again, we give the wrong password and wrong username. Username, password is one, two, three, four, five. Login, incorrect username or password. The message will be displayed here if the password and username are not correct. Okay. If we give the exact password and username, then we can able to log in. What is the password here? Password. Then login. See, we are successfully login. So this is the part one of codes registration form. Let us check how the complete form looks like after complete creation. Go to Microsoft. Visual Basics 6.0. If you want to open the existing project, just select here existing. Select the folder where your existing folder, existing project is saved. See. Open. Here in Project Explorer, all the forms will be available. This is the form one. This is the form two. This is the form three. This is the form four. Okay. Now let us execute this. After completion of all the forms, the project looks like this. Let us start the execution. Username, student, password is password, then login. It will redirect us to the login page. If you want to add the new entry, just click on add button, add here. Give the details here. Okay. 
ओके मैथ्स कैस्ट Here, address can be anything. Email ID. Then update. See here, data is saved. Just click on OK. It will re redirect us to form three. Here. You can select the codes here. Time period, percentage, average percentage. Then click on next button. Codes is selected. Then click on OK. It will redirect us to the form four. Here you can select the college names. List of college names is available. Payment method: single payment, two installments, three installments. Select single payment. Then select confirm. Your confirmation is registered. Then OK. So in this way, we'll design the course registration form. In part two, we'll check with how to design the form two. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.